Hey, it's Sri here. In today's video, I'm gonna talk you through the moment where my marriage went from being a real struggle to going to a place where we are just madly in love with each other. Before we dive in, I know going through a tough time in a marriage is a really, really painful thing. In fact, to be perfectly honest, it's gotta be the most painful area of one's life. And so I really wanted to let you know that if you are going through a really tough time, whether you're on the receiving end of infidelity or you're going through a separation or you're just wanting to heal from within as well, I want you to know that I'm here to serve you and help you. And so if you are needing some guidance and some help on this journey, then all you need to do is in the description section below, just click on that link, which says book a call with me. Just click on that link, choose a time that works for you, and then I'll contact you at the scheduled time just so I can learn a little bit more about where you're at now and then how I can potentially serve you on this journey of yours as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and click on that bell notification as well so every week you get notified every time I release my latest videos that will teach you specifics on how to save your marriage, how to heal from infidelity, and also learning a lot more about male psychology as well in relationships so you just have a little bit more clarity around how you need to approach your marriage and get through to your husband in the best possible way. Now I want to shoot this video to give you a little bit of an insight into, into my world and in particular our marriage. Now I'm very, very blessed to, to be married to my soulmate and she's the most remarkable woman that I could ever have imagined meeting. But there were some times in our relationship and also the crossover to the marriage where it was really tough. And both of us really, really struggled at different stages. And not because of you know, actions such as infidelity or anything like that. It was just expectations and our differences in terms of our approach to the marriage. You know, me and Divya have been together since 2013. And, you know, in the first year, it was amazing. There were some really, really beautiful times. And then once she had actually moved up to Auckland, where I was living at the time, you know, obviously we're in close proximity to each other. And, you know, I had my approach to a relationship. She had her approach to a relationship. And the fundamental issues generally were the fact that she was wanting to spend a lot of time with me because it was a new environment. And I probably took it for granted a lot, to be honest. And what I failed to do was really fill up that love tank in the way that it needed to in terms of just making her feel seen, making her feel really understood. I know that both of us were really good partners to each other, but there were times where we were struggling to get that message across. And so what actually happened was over a good couple of years, we were really battling in terms of our communication. There'd be, you know, 70 to 80% of the time it was beautiful. And then the other 20%, it would really be tough and not explosive in terms of communication, but more that we would tend to shut down and there'd be the really uncomfortable feelings inside. And I know for me, I mean, literally it just felt like my chest was just exploding because that's typically the area in our physical body where we feel a lot of pain in relationships is in the heart. And I really struggled with that. And that pattern just kept continuing on. It was almost like it would be wonderful for a period of time and then boom, you know, there'd be a problem and then that would just really turn into, you know, a, a very, very painful and, and difficult experience. And, and I know it got really frustrating for both of us because we weren't exactly sure what on earth to do. We weren't sure what steps to take. And it was kind of strange because, you know, I was doing the work that I was doing in relationships and yet I was finding it hard to actually apply it in my own marriage. And so one of the things though was I'd done a lot of healing work on the inside. And this is why I really promote the importance of healing on the inside because Whenever we've got problems in our relationship, they're actually a reflection of the challenges that we face on the inside. Whether we're struggling with feelings of rejection, whether we're struggling with feelings of abandonment, whether we feel like we're not good enough, whatever it is, they're deep wounds on the inside that need to be healed. And so I went through a process of real healing because I was, I'd got to a point where I was like, you know what, I have to do something about this. You know, I love this woman to death. I know we are right for each other. I know that I never doubted it in my mind at all. And I know she never doubted it as well. But we were getting into these really bad patterns where it just wasn't working out in the way that we'd sort of envisioned it. And I remember two important moments. One was when I realized I needed to heal from within. And two, I needed to make sure that I completely 100% 
serve my wife in the best way that she needs it. Not in the way that I think she needs it, but the way she needs it. And as soon as I started to make those shifts where I said, I've got to heal from within and I need to make sure that I'm going to serve 100% for what she needs, I noticed things started to change. And what was really amazing was that when I started to shift, even just having the intention of wanting to do that, she started to change. Now, for those of you who are familiar with my work, you know I am quite spiritual. And when I say spiritual, I don't mean a religion per se. I mean just believing in energy, believing in a higher consciousness, believing in the universe. And I know that when we have that intention of wanting to grow and wanting to heal, and we set forth that intention, doesn't mean we just sit back and do nothing, but I do believe that that intention inspires us to take really powerful action. And when we have that intention as well, it sets forth a series of events that allow things to move forward in a positive way. Now, I once again, I believe that that is God slash the universe really intervening and helping us, but I, I, I know this stuff works. And that's why I talk about it a lot, because I really know that if you can heal from within, if you can have that genuine healing on the inside, it is remarkable the shifts that can occur. Now, what I see a lot out there is that when people talk about healing, they don't go deep enough. They're just talking at a very surface level and they're like, oh, I just need to change my thoughts or, you know, I need to do a little bit of self-care and maybe get a massage and so on. Those are all lovely things, but they're not enough in terms of creating the proper healing on the inside. So as I said, what I did was I made sure I healed those wounds. I healed some of my wounds of inadequacy and rejection and abandonment and so on. Once I healed a lot of those, then it allowed me to show up in the best possible way for my wife. And even if there were moments that triggered me, they wouldn't trigger me as much anymore because I was able to clear a lot of that rubbish that I was holding on to and come purely from a place of love. And when you come from a place of love, other people pick up on it because you're not trying to leech everything off them. It's not an energy draining experience, it's an energy supplying experience for the other person. So by being around you, they are filled up. It's not a case of them feeling like they're being leached all the time of energy. And like anything, if we're around people that are draining us of all of our energy, then what's going to happen is we're going to eventually just want to get away from that environment. So as I said, I made sure I grew me. I made sure that I stayed focused on service. And once that started to happen and I started to get some momentum, it was amazing the shifts that started to occur. And not just that, but I noticed my wife really started to change as well. And that actually started to happen before I even took a lot of action. And that's why, once again, I believe in the power of a really beautiful intention when you have a positive intent when you're putting forth the energy it's amazing how things can really start to shift and now we're in this amazing place where we have such a wonderful connection and we're just we're operating at the heart so much for each other and it's such an amazing thing it's such a joy to spend time with her it's such a joy to be around her and in her presence it fills me up and i know it works the same way for her as well And so that's why I do what I do as well, because I truly believe that when you have a wonderful marriage, it is the most extraordinary experience that you possibly can imagine. And I want that for you as well. And so once again, if you connect with my material and you really enjoy some of these videos and you'd like to speak to me personally, then all you need to do is in the description section below, just click on that link which says book a call with me. Just click on that link, choose a time that works for you, and then I'll contact you at the scheduled time just so I can learn a little bit more about where you're at, what the challenges you're going through at the moment, and how I can serve you through my program, The Authentic Relationship System, which is an amazing program that can help you to be able to create some remarkable shifts in your marriage and in your life as well. But if you're not ready to speak to me, that's totally okay. All you need to do is in the description section again, you'll see a link to register for my masterclass training. In that training, you'll learn the three steps that my client Sarah used to be able to save her marriage in less than 60 days. She's a remarkable woman who creates some amazing shifts. And I know you'll learn a lot from it. And you'll especially learn the three steps that she took to be able to save her marriage. So make sure you click on that link. Just register for the masterclass. Choose a time that works for you. And then just show up with an open mind and make sure you soak in lots of information. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you've liked it, make sure you hit the like button below. If you want to get more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. 
And do let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this video as well. I always love hearing the comments and the questions and I'll make sure I respond to every single one of them. And if you wanna learn how to save your marriage on the brink of a divorce, click this video above. And if you wanna learn the three things that good men find attractive in a woman, just click this video above. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you in the next video.